Get our new 12-page executive summary from our partner, Swiss America, today. Click the link below. Again, get a free report on money, morality, and the machine. Has the American empire gone the way of Rome? All this easy, funny money, credit, quantitative easing into infinity, 0% interest rates. Is there any morality to the money system today? Again, click the link below right now from our partner, Swiss America. Download Money, Morality, and the Machine, 12-page executive summary on Smith's Law in an Unethical, Overgoverned Age by Craig R. Smith. Click the link below right now or give them a call at 1-800-289-2646. That's 1-800-289-2646. Act now. Again, it's one of the reasons I knew that Donald Trump would be successful in the GOP field. For the same reason, AMTV is successful. Because you've demanded it. People don't trust the mainstream media. They don't trust their government. They don't trust Hillary Clinton. They certainly don't trust Bill, a sexual rapist predator. So it was amazing last night. The gloves came off and Donald Trump came out swinging. And he was strong. He shocked the mainstream media and Hillary Clinton's campaign with his media stunt right prior to the debate that even had me nervous. I'm like, Trump, I hope you know what you're doing, man. I hope, hope you know what you're doing. He has the four ladies sitting there, Kathleen, Willie, Juanita Broderick, who just recently also did an interview, a recent one on Breitbart, where she relives the livid, violent details of her alleged rape. Bill just ripping over open her blouse and throwing her violently on the bed and then inserting his dick right into her vagina against her will. Yeah, how does that make you feel, you PCers out there? You think that was PC, him violently inserting his dick into Juanita Broderick against her will? Rape? Did you see his eyes? Did you see his eyes last night? They just kind of went to the sides like, oh my God, these women are here. I raped these women and they're actually sitting right next to me. Donald Trump wanted to put him in his family's box, but the debate moderators didn't want to allow it. Surprisingly effective and a wonderful tactic of just presenting truth to the American public, all those millennials out there that don't even know that Bill Clinton allegedly raped these women, like Juanita Broderick. I want to go to that Facebook video now. It's just unprecedented. Take a look. Paula Jones is there. I mean, Paula Jones even goes after one of the reporters. The reporters entering the room think that they're going for like a pre-press conference for the debate. Surprise! Here are all the rape victims for the world to see. Let's go to that clip now. Thank you Thank you very much for coming, and these four very courageous women have asked to be here, and it was our honor to help them. And I think they're each going to make just an individual short statement, and then we will we're going to have a little meeting, and uh, we'll see you at the debate. Okay? Perhaps we'll start with Paul. Well, I'm here to support uh, Mr. Trump because he's going to make America great again. And I think everybody else should vote for him. And I think they should all look at the fact that um, he's a good person. He's not um, what other people have been saying he's been, like Hillary. So think about that. Okay. Kathy Shelton. So I'm also here to support Trump. Um, I, uh, at 12 years old, Hillary put me through. Um, something that you would never put a 12-year-old through. Um, and she says she's for women and children. And she was asked last year on what happened, and she says she's supposed to defend whether they did it or not. Now she's laughing on tape, saying she know they did it. You went through a lot. Yes, yes sir, I did. Okay, hi, I'm, I'm Winnie the Broderick. And I'm here to support Donald Trump. I tweeted recently, and Mr. Trump retweeted it, 
that actions speak louder than words. Mr. Trump may have said some bad words, but Bill Clinton raped me and Hillary Clinton threatened me. I don't think there's any comparison. I'm Kathleen Lilly, and um, I am here to support Donald Trump. The reason, the reason for that is the first day that he announced for president, he said, I love this country, and I want America to be great again. And I cried when he said that, because I think that this is the greatest country in the world. I think that we can do anything. I think we can accomplish anything. I think that we can bring peace to this world, and I think Donald Trump can lead us to that point. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you all very much. We appreciate it. Mr. Trump, 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 <laughs> so Donald Trump just absolutely destroys Hillary Clinton with this shock value, this media presentation right prior to the event that must have honest to God sent Hillary Clinton's operatives and her campaign into a tailspin. In fact, one of the people that worked for her actually told via Twitter Donald Trump to go F himself. That's how shocking all of this was. And it was so unbelievably well played, sir. Again, makes Hillary Clinton and her crime syndicate family just look so, so vile. Because you see, most Americans and most millennials have no idea who these rape victims are who people like Kathleen Willey are, who people like Juanita Broderick are, who just described the vicious rape during a Breitbart interview just a couple days ago, have no idea who Paula Jones is, has no idea who Kathy Shelton is, the girl who was raped that Hillary Clinton defended. I want you to think about that for a moment. I'm going to get into specifically that story, something Hillary Clinton laughed about. Hillary Clinton, this is a fact, defended a known rapist. She defended literally a rapist, just like she defends her husband, Bill. How she's interrogated, intimidated, pressured, discredited. These women and their voice, their precious voice as Bill Clinton allegedly violated them. Absolutely sickening. And you see, Donald Trump is smart because he's putting a face to the name. So every American, boy, girl, man, woman, transgender, binary, whatever you are nowadays in today's PC culture, you know, it's kind of crazy now what Facebook has like 40 genders or something like that because there's so many of them now. But so the whole world could see the faces, the tears of people like Juanita Broderick. And this lady calls herself a feminist. You know, there's a reason why a fly decided to land on her face, because flies are attracted to shit. And that's what Hillary Clinton is, a steaming pile of shit. And so is her husband. Tweeted out a lovely picture of her. You notice the same thing always seems to happen with not just Hillary, but also Obama. It's almost like God's letting us know that these people are Satan. You know, bzz, 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 bzz. Shocking, shocking display of truth and so, so effective. That Facebook video has since got viral. And again, probably the most interesting character to me who's directly correlated and linked with Hillary Clinton is Kathy Shelton, who was violently raped as a young girl on a farm by a very disgusting, vile man whom Hillary Clinton defended. Because that's the type of woman, if you're a millennial tuning in, Hillary Clinton is. She defends known rapists. Trump punked the press, folks. He absolutely 
punked them. And it was just so amazing and so gratifying to watch. It, it was exciting. You know, it was like a NASA spaceship liftoff yesterday. And Donald Trump didn't let us down. He went after Hillary on the emails, on the Clinton Foundation. He told her things like, hey, why don't you put your money where your mouth is and invest 25 or $30 million of the $250 million you and Bill have earned through the Clinton Foundation pay-to-play scam that you're running. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is and use your own money to run and air your own commercials and not George Soros' money or Warren Buffett's money? All these same guys, by the way, that take the tax deduction that Hillary Clinton was trying to point out, the same people that finance your entire crooked campaign take the same tax deduction and there's nothing illegal about it. And you keep that loophole and you did as a senator and you know your 30-year track record as a politician because it benefits you. Because you need big Wall Street moneyed interests to support you, Hillary. Shocking.